Adding bases. To first add bases, we have to figure out how bases work in general. So normal base 10, is what we are all familiar with, works like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But in base 8, what happens is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but after 7, instead of going to 8 like normal, it goes directly to 10. This is because or after 7, it renames itself. It becomes two digits, and it keeps going like that. Like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. And it keeps going on that's like that. Keeping that in mind, let's add these numbers. 3 plus 7. We have to add these first in base 10 and then convert it to base 8. 7 plus 3 is 10. And how we convert base 10 to base 8 is dividing it by base 8. So 10 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 2. And you write the remainder down. Remainder is 2, and that's what I wrote down. Now you take the 1, and you put it on top of this, like a carry-on. 1 plus 5 is 6, and 6 plus 4 is 10. Once again, 10 divided by 8, 1 remainder 2. You write the 2, and since there's nothing to carry on to, you write a 1 here. So 53 base 8 plus 47 base 8 is 122 base 8. This question comes up fairly decent, and that's what you have to do. Another thing that also comes up is consecutive bases. Like they say 1 base 8 plus 2 base 8 plus 3 base 8. And they say that all the way to uh, 10 base 8. They don't give really high numbers for uh, consecutive numbers in other bases. But what you have to do with this first is convert this 10 base 8, the last number, into base 10. I have to... So basically, how we do this is you multiply the second digit or the tens digit by 8. This is how it works. You do 8 to the power of 1 times this number and 8 to the power of 0 times, times this number and add them to. So 8 to the power of 1 is 8. 8 times 1 is 8. And 8 to the power of 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 8 plus 0, well, it's 0. So now we have to do the normal base, sorry. Now we have to do the normal consecutive integers trick to all the way to 8 since that's the number that we got. And if you don't know how to do that, please check back on our video. It's on the um, it's in the up from the place that you have got this video and it's fairly easy. So you just add 1 to 8 9 9 times 8 divided by 2 4 9 times 4 36 and that's the answer. But we're not done just yet. We have to convert it back to base 8 because that's what they asked this question in. So 36 divided by 8, well, the remainder is 4, and it's 4 remainder 4. So you take 4, and 4 divided by 8, well, 0 remainder 4. You take another 4. 44 base 8 is the answer. That's just it. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed my video. It seems a bit tricky at first, but I'm sure you'll understand it. If you don't understand this just as well, then go on to YouTube or find some other online resources because I know it can be tricky. Uh, good luck, and as always, bye.